Hello, good morning, and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to the Vancouver Comic Arts Festival. It's a free festival in Vancouver, which typically happens every May. A whole bunch of artists get together, comic artists, to show off their work, and you can go and visit each of their booths and purchase their artwork or just check them out. It's a really fun time, and it's free to go, and it's really accessible by public transit, so I'm excited to be doing that today, and I thought I would bring you along. I didn't end up going to the festival last year due to some illness in my family, but that's okay. I'm going today and I think it'll be a really fun time. I'm super excited to go because my friend is going to be tabling at this festival for the first time, so I'm super excited to check out her stuff. She makes a whole bunch of different stuff, but she's the one who made this charm that's on my backpack. This is of her character Kiwi and she has a whole bunch of other little cute fruit themed characters that I really enjoy. She is also debuting a new comic book at this festival and I'm so excited to purchase it and read it in its entirety. I've seen little bits of it here and there because I was trying to help her edit some of it or at least kind of just like give it a look over for her before it went to printing but I'm just so excited to be there and to support her and go support other artists and I'm also going to be meeting up with another friend and we're going to go to the festival together and get some lunch together so I think it'll be a really fun day. Sometimes I go to these festivals or conventions or artist alleys really hoping to find a specific piece of art Today I'm not looking for anything in particular. Maybe I will find a birthday card for my sister whose birthday is coming up next month. My birthday is also coming up next month. I'm excited to see Legend of Zelda art, Animal Crossing art, Poi Poi Molkar art. I think that'll be very rare, but who knows, maybe I will find something. But before then I have an appointment to get to and then it's on to the festival. So I will see you in a bit. And very quickly just to show you my outfit of the day. It is still super warm here. It feels like summer so I'm just dressed for the weather and of course I'm going to be bringing a fanny pack along with me so it is super easy to pull out my method of payment when I'm ready to make a purchase. Okay for real now I need to get going. The day went by so quickly and I did not do a very good job of vlogging. <laughs> The couple of clips I have were from when I was helping my friend at her booth. She gave me the opportunity to sit behind her booth and help her out with customers and I was so happy to do that. I've always thought it would be so fun to run one of the artists booth and get to interact with people who are fans of the art. To be able to help my friend out even if it was just for a little while was a lot of fun and a really unique experience to get a behind the scenes view of what goes on at these tables. Her booth was so wonderfully set up and I'm so glad I could see it in person and then we just had a little bit of fun with another friend who came by filming some clips and just kind of goofing around. But overall VanCaf was really wonderful this year. In past years it's been like really packed like shoulder to shoulder it's hard to get into anyone's tables but I felt like there was like a good mix this year like some tables were really busy but if you came back later you could easily get into them. And I just really love all the variety, seeing all the different artists and everything that's available. And it's free to go. So I know this video is being posted after the fact, but it does happen every year. So I really recommend you go check it out next year. Let's go into the goodies that I got from my time at the festival. I wasn't planning on getting as much as I did, but when you're surrounded by everything, it's hard to say no, especially when they accept card. I will be linking all the artists that I can down in the description with whatever handle I have for them. So if something interests you, please go and check them out. A lot of them do have online stores or at least Instagram or other art accounts you can follow. Let's get into it. So the first thing I will share with you is actually this bag itself. I saw the Lucky Cat pattern and I just had to get it. It's by Jen H. The funny thing about this bag is that my friend and I who went to the festival together we got separated as you do and we were kind of wandering around doing our own things and I saw this bag and I had to buy it only to meet up with my friend a couple minutes later and she was like look at this bag that I got and I said I got that bag too. <laughs> Even though we were separated we were both very excited about the bag and got it for ourselves and we both thought about the other person when we bought the bag hoping to show it to them once we met up again. Yeah, super cute bag and it's really large and comes with its own little pocket to store the bag in. So happy with that. So the first thing is a print. 
It is a rainbow colored circle with a really cute print of a little snail saying, go your own pace. I couldn't resist this print because the phrase really speaks to me, especially recently. I had been putting a lot of pressure on myself to try and finish writing my novel as soon as possible, especially going into this year. I set a lot of unreal expectations for myself about getting my projects done, but this is a really good reminder that it's okay for me to go at my own pace and sometimes that's the best thing to do. And I thought this was just a super cute print and I had to get it. Next up, we have these two really fun zines. Something that's really interesting about this comic arts festival is that in order to participate, you have to have at least one comic or have a zine available for people to purchase and some people just have free zines available at their tables. These two were not free but they did come in a little package deal and I thought they were both so unique. The first one is called Boots and I thought it was very relatable and the second one is called Blood Moon. Honestly just the title of this comic or zine caught my attention. <laughs> because of the blood mood in Zelda, but I really liked the art in this, so I had to get this one as well. Also by Jen H is this very funny dog angrily eating an ice cream cone sticker. I do also have the pin of this, but when I saw that they were selling the sticker version of it, I had to get it. I guess I might as well go into the other stickers I got. Going to these festivals with friends or running into a friend at the festival is always fun because there's always deals where if you buy like multiples of something, like buying three stickers instead of one sticker, it's usually a better deal. So that is the case for some of these stickers. This is a very cute holographic Kirby sticker I got. This really, really adorable Rilakkuma soup sticker that my friend bought for me. It was just so adorable and so me, I had to have it. I love hot pot, I love Rilakkuma. It's a great combination. A very cute little ghost watering its garden and this floral tingle sticker I had to get. Another sticker, which I will just show you because I don't know if saying this word is bad to say on YouTube, but I love this. And another little variety of stickers here. I love this one with all of the cat related food. And this set, it reminds me a lot of Stardew Valley. And this is a little print that my friend bought for me. I feel like I can relate to it a lot with all the busy times going on at work. It's just so cute and cozy and I wish I could be this little character. And now onto some of the other signs I got at the festival. This one that just makes me giggle. They were actually giving it away for free at their table. And I love that it folds out into another big piece of artwork. Very cute. And it also came with this postcard. These two are by the same artist. I just had to pick them up. It is a story about a Korok from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's super adorable and super cute. And what I really love about it is the message that the artist left in the back of the zine, talking about their relationship to this Korok in particular and their relationship to the game. I love it a lot. And also just the title of this itself caught my eye. I am definitely going to be making these pancakes sometime in the future. The artist was telling me that so often people get this sign from her and then a week or so later, they'll often get messages saying how much someone enjoyed making the pancake recipe and how good it was. So I think I'm definitely going to try it. So I'm hoping these will be very delicious pancakes. I did end up making the pancake recipe and the pancakes were so wonderful and delicious. Definitely worthy of the title of a famous pancake. My friend saw this table and she just had to bring me over to it because she thought I could relate a lot to the stuff that this artist was selling. And yes, definitely, I picked up this sign called Things I Have Recently Mistaken for Dogs. Very relatable for me. Sometimes I will see objects out in the wild and think they are a puppy. And then I have to take a second look to realize more often than not, it is not a dog, even though I was hoping it was a dog. And I also got these two pins from the same artist. This pup life pin, my friend said, I absolutely had to get because she said that the character in the middle kind of looks like me. And yes, if I could hug all of these dogs, I definitely would. And then just this other pin that says, let's do it with a whole bunch of what I'm assuming are a bunch of caffeinated drinks surrounding it. And yes, I do constantly sip on tea while I'm working or writing or doing anything to get things done. 
So also very relatable to me. And this is one more fun thing that I got. It is a blind bag from the artist who also did the assortment of stickers I showed you. This bag cost $15 and it came with a print, an assortment of stickers and a pin. I did give the print away to my friend because she just loved it so much. I liked the print too, but just her big reaction to it and how in love she was with it, I thought she would get so much more joy out of it. And I already got joy out of these stickers in here. In the blind bag, I got these large stickers of some plant girls, super cute. And I got another assortment of stickers. I love this bunny one a lot. I think I will actually probably give it to my sister because she also really loves bunnies. So if she likes this one, she can have it. This black cat pin. And this really fun temporary tattoo. And I think that's everything that I got today. It was a lot of fun getting these goodies and I can't wait to put them up or put them to use or just enjoy reading them. I do love having a little collection of zines that I can flip through whenever I want. It's like reading little stories or comics at a whim. And unfortunately, in all the excitement I had over my friend's booth, I forgot to buy her comics, but she does have an Etsy store, so I'm definitely going to go purchase them from her very soon. But I do want to show you one of the comics that she featured at her table. This is the first comic she released called Snowfall, and it tells a little tale about two girls falling in love on a snow day. It's very sweet and very adorable. I highly recommend you check it out. Hello, Nicole from the future here to tell you that I actually went back to Van Calf on the second day to go and visit my friend Priscilla's booth. I wanted to make sure that I bought the stuff I meant to buy from her and I did. I ended up getting her latest comic, which is called Girls Love, which shares three heartwarming stories of three different sets of girls. It is just so sweet and so adorable. Please go check it out. I also got this very cute capybara taking a nice hot bath sticker and this really adorable set of Sanrio stickers, which are Sanrio characters as cute little pieces of food. And that's everything from me for today. I hope you had some fun coming along with me and seeing what I got. It is always a lot of fun for me to get to go to these festivals or to these conventions. So let me know down in the comments below if you've been to a convention before or a festival like this before, what your experience has been like, or let me know who your favorite online artist is or comic artist is. I would love to know. I am hoping to get to go to a few more conventions or festivals this year that supports artists where you can buy their work or check out their work. It's always fun discovering a new artist or seeing old favorites. And summer is a great season to get to go to these kinds of events. If you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing everything I got, I would love it if you could leave me a little thumbs up to let me know you liked the video and maybe I will take you along for the next festival I go to. And I encourage you to subscribe to see more vlogs from me. I also do vlogs about my writing and just my daily life or other fun happenings. So if you are interested, please subscribe. Thank you for spending some time with me and until next time, see you later. Bye.